Pier, my cherry, I'll do it. Hello there sexy Franger. These women had their full swear to God. The adventures, the histories, the turds. You're acting like it's about one thing when in fact you're just being gross. And like, be gross. Yeah. Be gross. Change your costume, Mimi. Change it around. Can I tell you something? What? <laughs> no, what? Oh, no. I was going through my phone the other day and I was one day on the road and I kept, I guess, I don't like to talk about going to the bathroom. Yeah, I know. That I was giving. You want to talk to Rhea? You want to talk diarrhea? I do you want to talk to. about diarrhea? I'm like, I don't know if you're busy, but I douched. You need to throw it I got it water in. coming out of my nose. That's how, that's <laughs> yeah. how much I douched. Yeah. I've compromised I'm the bacterial crying. integrity of my GI tract. <laughs> you need to come and fucking, yeah. I used to pray to God to take crazy. away my ass hair. Yeah, I was like, God, Jesus, please take my, my ass hair. I don't need it, nor do I want it. You think God had more to do than worry about the wicker basket <laughs> climbing all over your <laughs> I don't want to be too graphic. But let's just say this. Yeah. I want him to <laughs> my throat and snap my neck and hide my body. Is that too far? Oh my god. No, I, I mean, mean, I wasn't doing like carbon dating on the <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Come I over put it <laughs> in a bag and said we're gonna send this in for sampling. Um, did you spit on my face? I think I did, you I think you face. would. <laughs> How about this scenario though? You're getting a pat down at TSA. You diarrhea shit yourself during the pat down and you have to get on the plane. Yeah, but it's not against the TSA laws to shit your pants. I can still get on that plane with a hot load. It's not a pants. legal issue. Honey. Oh, I lost one inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's still scraping the what urine walls. Head? <laughs> Let's, maybe tomorrow we'll find out. Oh. <laughs> Especially because it was like, you don't just deposit a turd, because it wasn't like spraying. Was it diarrhea? No, no, it was a turd. They could have brought it from home. <laughs> You know what I mean? They could have been smuggling the turd in in one of those organ donor. Uh, yeah, a little cooler. <laughs> Frozen turd fashion bug. I have musical diarrhea. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Would you rather pee yourself a little bit all throughout the day or. Done. Stop there. I want that. Did you or did you not use human feces to fill out that skirt of hair? <laughs> I don't want like, um, I don't want any visitors. But I, <laughs> yeah. But like you know, I'd like a little. Um, I'd like to be able to take a sample. <laughs> I, I'd like to be able to identify a body. Okay, I stopped having the dreams where all my internal organs became applesauce and just oozed out of my asshole. She said, "Just so you know, some patients experience diarrhea." I said, "Miss Rosa." This is my first time at the rodeo. <laughs> I think I can handle a little gonorrhea. I think I know my body. Thank you. Your body was a stranger. I shit a trash can in my house. <laughs> I shit a trash can in my house. That's because your 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 shit got passed down to your blood. And if you're married, <laughs> my blood gets passed out to my. <laughs> what I mean? Then the Russian treehouse, and then um, stop. What? When I my parents helped me move in there, that's where we found the Nalgene bottle filled with piss in my bedroom. And my <sighs> my poor mom and dad. I know you don't want to talk about. It, but I, had I to, hate poops. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I had to cut it with a Q-tip because, like, several times. Not me, girl. I'm not trying to like stress. Yeah. Rearrange the whole yeah, interior. Yeah. I'm not trying to budget. Yeah. Rearrange the interior. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Jerry's coming over. Get rid of the soap. It's like you have to completely yeah. clean out. Do you shave your butthole? I do. You shave your butthole. It's a hygienic concern. <sighs> sure. Yeah. Dingleberry. Sure the way you shave. Oh yeah, just it's just hell. all over the just place. Gravel. Yeah. Sometimes it oozes, sometimes it spurts. And I had to pee and I pulled a Gatorade bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went to pee in it. Yeah. And I missed the hole entirely. And I had to get out and use um, the floor mat to scoop <laughs> out of the car. You know what I did in the 90s? I ran home in black jeans. And this is how I know I'm a woman. I ran home, I had to pee so bad. I had to pee so bad that I ran home. And I was in the woods! I was in the woods, but you're mama! Like, I, I was in the woods. Uh, I fell to the ground, dramatically fell, like, ugh, and then pissed myself in the black jeans and cried. <laughs> I used to pee in the sink. Um, I used to pee in the sink back in Boston because the the it was a it was a lower sink. When I was 25. I licked the <laughs> of a grandpa who was 65 years old. <laughs> How do you go to the bathroom in space? It it just gets sucked back up in your bum. 
It's economical. Have you ever had a bowel movement that like was very challenging to push out and then you wiped and there was blood? Only because I'm gonna miss them so much. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta push them out of the nest. You know, I'll get two um, synthetic tracks in 613 and I'll bond and glue those like curtains right above my <laughs> And you can wrap them around your <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, it was were, so were you long. cutting up like Spani Copita? <laughs> <laughs> You had your pizza roller out. My bracelets. Did you ever do this around your hard dick? Tell me you've never done it around your hard dick. I've done it around my hard dick. Every time that came out, I grabbed a black light and I turned on the X-Files theme song. <laughs> and I was looking, oh. for, looking for that turd. <laughs> it's turd, oh my I god. I hate this show. So my mother Mama. had to carry out a torso, a latex torso sex doll and load it into a box that it came with. And you know what it said on the box? Tell me. Mega <laughs> machine. Ultra mega, it's something as, it, it said four, like 14 pounds of real poundable. Have you gone down a water slide with no water on it? It burns. Why would you have done that? Because when you get to the bottom, you come so much it gets wet. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so fucking much. I made myself like- If you got one foot in the past and the other in the future, you're pissing on today. Yeah, Keep your, so there's yeah. hair hanging and then when I get hard, my <laughs> slides through the DMs like, <laughs> you know. That is so disgusting. And then another time, I successfully peed in the Gatorade bottle <laughs> And then I forgot that I peed in the Gatorade nope. bottle and I took a nope. sip. No! Nope. Yes, I did! I can't I forgot about this too! And if your wife doesn't mind, can't I wanna pop the white head on the end of your with my between my incisors. Oof. Yeah. Well, you know what? A fecal transplant is a real thing. They put poop in your butt <laughs> from somebody else. <laughs> I'm just gonna address something we've talked about on this show in so many different shades. I just use the Nalgene bottles, the glass bottles, the mason jars, the sinks, the Gatorade bottles. The pee needs to go in the toilet. I don't agree. <laughs> and I said, that's weird. The carpet in this place is mini golf outdoor carpet. Why? That afternoon, I was naked and farted. Diarrhea. <laughs> And I was like, that's why it's outdoor carpet indoors, because people like me can't be trusted to at least have a diarrhea experience above a toilet. <laughs> yeah, or if you have a, a small bladder, the aisle's good. Or a calf. When I'm on a plane and someone's not wearing a, a catheter, a calf, a calf. I'm like, girl, you're not wearing a calf, amateur. <laughs> Wear the calf. I don't do a single drag show without a calf. Or a colostomy bag. And then as I urinate, like my tits will get bigger, you know, wherever I store it. It's, yeah, it's a reveal. Yeah, feminine pocket. Yeah. In the Uber, gripping. Gripping the seat, gripping the door, because I was like, when I get out of this Uber. It's a, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a slip and slide. Do you have chunky cum? That's too much. <laughs> So let me, no, no, seriously. I, I had chunky cum, it's so gross. And I came on the wall and it had little like bits of gelatinous crap in it and then they hardened into amber stones. Do you pee in the shower? I pee everywhere. <laughs> Turdy, how was that fitting? Can you just size up? Can you just size up? Can you just size up? This is the dress. Can you just size up? This dress is I have to put them in my carry-on and I sew them into a bra that gets so caked with sweat and makeup that it forms this foul smelling crust. And they stink and I stopped apologizing. I don't care. I never douche until I was like 25. What are you trying to say? Your oven cleans itself? No, I'm saying before that, I never had any accidents and I was having sex all the time. How do you yeah. know? They well, know. They know. <laughs> I sat to pee because I was in drag, and so I pulled down my tights and everything, and I peed, and I peed so hard, and then I noticed, because I had tights on, that none of the pee went in the toilet. It all went down the front of the toilet bowl, down my stocking leg, down my Pamela Anderson heel. And so by the time I finished peeing, I was sitting 
in a pool of, you could have electrocuted me in this. I would, I would, um, I always wanted Slater to sit on my face. And I, I imagine his butt was always slicked with sweat and I wanted him to sit on my face with a sweaty butt. Sticky, bloody gravel, marching out. <laughs> Trailing. Pushing through a thicket of brown. And my shit is, it's so thin, it's so hard. <laughs> it's like spaghetti. That you can really in. Oh my god, mm. it's a fishing line. It's totally. <laughs> I shit my pants twice. I shit in the bed, I shit in my pants, and I puked in the street. <laughs> I know. Did you flush? For the pee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poop? Never. <laughs> but I guess that I went to the bathroom, and the remnant, <laughs> we'll say the product. Okay. The product the waste. was so long that I guess I, I needed to take a picture. Like, have you ever, was it coming have off? Have you ever had something like that happen with your body where you're like, I'm never gonna show this to anybody, but I need to know it happened. Yeah. I need to feel seen in about six months when I look at this. Also, my dick is probably the cleanest thing on my body. I mean, it's it's caked in shit. <laughs> and, uh, and a tampon in your <laughs> <laughs> And it's not blood, it's water. I just like wet <laughs> and I take it out and bring it out. Have you ever your pants? Yeah, oh, last summer I did. Oh, you did. Oh my God. Or diarrhea shit yourself once a week. Oh, shit myself once a week. Really? Yeah, because when I had gonorrhea, the drip was such a heavy flow that I had to wear paper towel like it was a maxi pad and it was irritating. <laughs> But I felt real fish. But you know, I felt so fish. I, in the like, summer. Before I go on stage, I have to change my rag. <laughs> and it's. Why it's, is your hole pushing out like a, a prison meatloaf? Well, I, I, <laughs> it feels like when it happens, it always felt like, oh, that's too much of me going out. You know what I mean? It's like it, the loss feels too much. Like the you checks have, like, and balances. You have like depression yeah. afterward. You're like that woman. I swear I to saw God. That, I saw a woman on a program yeah. who had cancer and believed she could cure it with her own urine. And she was taking shot glasses of her pee and holding it up to her eye and then opening her eye and then tipping her head back. And she thought she was curing her cancer. She would drink the urine. She would bathe in the urine. She would save the urine. Are you her? Have you seen the video of the woman who drinks and bathes in her own pee as a cure for cancer? Mama, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time I worked at the store in the mall that a man came in and he was uh, not attractive and he was uh, very overweight and he had a, a tank top on that was covered in sweat and I, he gave me a boner and I jerked off right away and I didn't know why. <gasps> gridlock, the entire town was gridlock for about five to six hours. And I had to pee in a cup, in, the, um, in a bottle, in the- You need to start peeing in toilets. Like, now what are the poop types? I, I, yeah, it's like, um, there's nice. Nice. Blonde. And then bloody. <laughs> oh, I had, I had bloody. I have bloody. I have. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> I do. But it's not like, it's not enough to, I don't want to call the doctor because it's not, it's not like turning all the water red. Do you know what I mean? Can I show you my ingrown hair? That is not an ingrown hair. <gasps> I that, think it's a tumor. You like pee stuff? <laughs> Is it coming out of the bowl? It was like out of the bowl, wrapped around, write your name in the sky, surrender Dorothy. <laughs> like Along the grout of the tile. Yes. There's so many great options for where to put your pee. And you're always like, no. Do you, do you I'm going to take the road less traveled. <laughs> do you know when you have diarrhea, but you don't have access to a bedpan? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. I mean, who has running water in Los Angeles? OK, in this drought, honey. Bath bomb? That's me when I try to douche in the bath. OK, that's a bath bomb. I have a cat sister. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't. You know what I mean? I'm also very suspicious of apples that are that immaculate. Yeah. I mean, where are the pock marks? Where's the texture? Where's the discoloration? It's not relatable. Have you read that? Have you ever, okay. <laughs> have you ever seen that thing where like there's an ingrown hair and you grab it and pull it with tweezers and it's been growing under the oh, skin? Oh, I love that. You do? The best is when it's flushed and it circles around like a clock and then the hole's here and it just goes like this, like, like a dog trying to walk through a doorway with a stick. Yeah, it just won't budge. Can I please have a sip of water? Little did she know, you had just emptied your bladder into that exact bottle. I have a friend who lost his virginity using Gatorade as lubricant in the parking lot. I'm done. 
Love you.